When it came to enrolling Millie in school, my husband and I decided that we wanted her to attend the same school as her sister. Uh, we loved her and valued her as an important part of our family. Um, we saw her as a beautiful individual who would grow up to do amazing things. We thought others would simply see her this way too. We knew there would be challenges, but we thought nothing more than we could handle. My husband's a doctor, a GP. My background is as an occupational therapist. We expected uh, that the school teachers and us would be able to make it work. Um, we'd work together, it would all be fine. There'd be nothing we couldn't figure out. But by year three, Millie was experiencing significant anxiety. It um, started with sick tummies. By year five, she was selectively mute. She, uh, the colour would just drop from her face if people approached her and she was being expected to talk. Panic attacks began. She was struggling to get to school. Um, and with all of our expertise, all the knowledge of health professionals we were connected with, we had no real answers uh, to know how to help her. We tried everything as if uh, with enough skill building, it would reach a tipping point where all of a sudden she would feel confident and less anxious, um, but it didn't happen that way. And then a big turning point for our family and our beautiful girl was when we attended a weekend for families uh, who were wanting their loved ones with disability to be included in life. It was there that a wise mum of a young woman with disability shared a very personal story with me. It was during a, um, a small group exercise uh, we were doing on the power of a positive introduction for your family member. The story was about when she was describing her daughter to a school staff member and this teacher was actually decent enough to ask her why are you describing your daughter that way? Listing her diagnoses and her deficits. Your job is to tell me who she is, her strengths and her interests, which this mum shared actually brought her to tears. At that moment, I realised that when Millie had started school six years beforehand, I was able to describe her um, positively talk about her strengths, her interests, um, the role she played. Um, now after years of conversations about what she couldn't do, I was at a place where I found I was far quicker to automatically describe her in terms of deficits. And uh, I think this was almost a defence mechanism, a way of beating others to it and protecting myself from being hurt. Um, but Millie wasn't shielded from this. The impact that this had on Millie's self-concept was horrendous. I recall her first psychologist session in year five where she wasn't even able to describe herself positively and I was devastated. She took her cues from us. At that family weekend, when we were doing the positive introduction activity, much to my embarrassment, it felt awkward, struggling to describe my daughter in terms of what she was good at, what she liked and enjoyed, the role she played. Uh, because my thoughts and conversations had been consumed with milestones and medical terms and developmental goals for years, I honestly felt like I had robbed my child of a childhood that her siblings got, but she didn't because she had a disability. I have learnt that all the wishing in the world will not get people to see Millie for who she really is. It takes intention from me. It's unfair and it's wrong, but it's where our world is at the moment. It's, I, I see it as my job to lead the way, to show others how she is to be spoken to and about. She's a gorgeous teenage girl. She's loved by her friends and her family. Uh, she contributes as much to those around her as they do to her. Um, it's a shame that I have to actually explicitly say that. She is a yoga enthusiast. She um, is an amazing artist. 
like her dad and her siblings. She loves puzzles and craft because she's a bit of an introvert as well, like her aunt. She hates scary movies like me, uh, but she'll always join me to watch a cheeky comedy. Unlike me, she is confident with technology. She loves to work outside, even cleaning out the chook shed. Uh, she wants to learn to drive and she wants to find a job with animals or in science or robotics. Uh, she loves that kind of thing. I'm her mum and it's my job to advocate for her and her vision for her future. When I do this job well, she gains confidence in exploring everything this amazing world has to offer and the contribution she is going to make to it. I'm excited to see what that contribution will be.